All right, everybody, welcome back to the next part of my Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection 30th Anniversary Special, in which this time around, we're going to play one more game for the PlayStation 2, and that is Jeopardy! Let's see how we do. We're going to have ourselves a great game, right? Right. This controller. There we go. I was trying to get it to read there. We're good. Hi, Tiger. You want to watch me play? Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Tournament of Champions. One player. Come on, boy. Here you go. Time to play Jeopardy. Let's put my knowledge to the test. But more than anything, let's have a great game. From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! Welcome to the Tournament of Champions. Each of you must be excellent players to have made it this far, so congratulations. And now, let's begin our game. I'm ready. Want to see the categories? Well, here they are. Classical music. All right. Ooh, good one. U.S. States. States. I like that one a lot. Hmm. American, American history. history. We'll see. Hmm. Groups. There's a lot of them. Bottoms, bottoms up. up. Notice, Notice bottom, bottom in quotation, quotation marks. marks. And, and rounding right out, we have... Literature. Literature. We're ready. Let's get things underway, player one. Start this off with American history for 200. Size mattered to this Declaration of Independence signer. His signature was the biggest. Who is John Hancock? Very good. You pick again. Alaska's second most popular city is named for this man, who was vice president under Teddy Roosevelt. What is Fa who is Fairbanks? Right. right. Uh, let's take uh, American history for six hundred plus. In the seventeen nineties, his cotton gin was a tonic for the fortunes of cotton planters. Who is Eli Whitney? Yes. In 1906, one of these Earth ships devastated San Francisco in April and Valparaiso, Chile in August. What is an earthquake? Precisely. Pick again. Paul Revere dressed up as an Indian to take part in this party of December 16, 1773. What is the Boston Tea Party? Very good. You pick again. Uh, bottoms up for 200. This type of boat lets you view undersea life while keeping your feet dry. What is a glass bottom boat? Glass bottom boats? Right. Pick again. Okay. Uh, let's keep it going with uh, bottoms up for 400. It's your net profit or loss as shown on an income statement. What is the bottom line? Very, Very good. good. You pick again. 
This 60s TV series was set aboard the Seaview, an atomic sub built by Harriman Nelson. What is a uh, voyage to the bottom of the sea? Very good. You pick again. Miners first adapted this term for a hard place to mean as low as one can get. What is rock bottom? Precisely. Pick again. Contradicting its foreboding name, this feature of Mammoth Cave is only 105 feet deep. What is a bottomless pit? Correct. Okay. Uh, classical music for 200. In one of his tales in an Offenbach opera, this poet is in love with a mechanical doll named Olympia. Uh, who is Geoffrey Chaucer? I'll say who was Homer instead. Nice, nice try, try, but that's, that's incorrect. incorrect. I have no idea. Who is who Hoffman? Hoffman? You, you bet. bet. Oh, okay. Player two, what'll it be? U.S. States for 200. I should do better here. Its largest city is named for angels, and it ranks first by population. What is California? Yes. U.S. States for 400. Over to you, player one. In 1998, the Diamondbacks began to play Major League Baseball for this state. What is uh, Arizona? That's it. Located on the Continental Divide, its capital is Helena. What is Montana? Correct. Pick again. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. Okay, here's the clue. Geographic features of this northwestern state include Mount Rainier. What is Washington? Very good, you pick again. It has only about nine places with 5,000 or more people and is the largest U.S. state. What is Alaska? Correct. Pick again. Classical music for 400. He wrote four overtures for Fidelio, the most popular being Lenore Overture Number 3. Who is Ludwig von Beethoven? You bet. His songs to remember include about 40 mazurkas, written in a three-quarter dance rhythm. Who is Frederick Chopin? That's, who I was That's it. Okay, player three. Literature for 200. In the Anderson tale, at age 15, she swims to the ocean surface and views the world above for the first time. Who is the Little Mermaid? Correct. Literature for 400. Player one, it's your turn. In this H.G. Wells novel, the first Martian spaceship lands near the town of Woken. What is War of the Worlds? That's it. Player one, you're still in control of the board. 
Tom, Tom Canty, Canty, born, born in, a in a slum called Offal Court, and, and Edward Tudor, Tudor are, the are the title characters, characters in this Twain novel. novel. What is the Prince and the Pauper? Precisely. Precisely. Pick again. In this Orwell novel, Mr. Charrington, who runs an antique shop, is actually a member of the Thought Police. What is 1984? That's it. He wrote Brave New World. Who is Aldous Huxley? Yes. yes. This composer's 1868 work, Wiegenlied, is better known to us as Lullaby. Who is Brahms? Precisely. Pick again. Joseph Haydn based this 1798 oratorio on the Bible and Milton's Paradise Lost. Anybody? Mm -mm. What we were looking for was this. Creation. Okay. Player one, you're still in control of the board. As a team, you may feel their pressure. As the accused, they will make up your jury. Who are peers? Yes. One of these groups may be pep or fire. What's the squad? Exactly. From Middle English for a pack of animals, it's a disorganized mob that may have a rouser. What's a rabble? Precisely. Pick again. It's another term for truck drivers from the time when their horsepower came from teams of horses. What are teamsters? Yes. And now to complete this round, young families started after World War II produced this boom phenomenon. Where are the baby boomers? Or what is baby boom? Yes. $21,400 at the end of the Jeopardy round. That's, That's the, end the end of the Jeopardy, Jeopardy round. round. Let's, Let's take, take a look at the scores. scores. Grab both player one. They're all alone in first place. Let's move on to double jeopardy. There are two daily doubles for you on this board, so let's get started. Let's get to the categories in double jeopardy. Popuri. Street smarts. Monosyllables. Twenty something. Fictional characters. And our last category? History. Off we go, player two. Potpourri for 400. If you didn't know that this Greek sea god also created the horse, say nay. Who's Poseidon? Right. right. Player one, one, your turn. It's, it's nine, nine points, points of the law, or when someone's, someone's got a little devil in it. <laughs> what is possession? Well done, yes. You're still in control of the board, player one. Film in which Heather O'Rourke proclaims, They're here. What is poltergeist?
Very good. You pick again. Named for a Bannock Indian chief, this city is home to Idaho State University. What is Pocatello? Precisely. Pick again. The general in charge of the USPS. Who is the postmaster general? That's it. Fictional characters for 400. The title character in this Fitzgerald classic came into the world as James Gatz. Who is the great Gatsby? Right, pick again. She started sleuthing in 1930 and in 1991 solved her 100th mystery, A Secret in Time. Uh, who is Nancy Drew? Right. Arkady Rinko, a Moscow investigator in this author's Gorky Park, becomes a seaman in Polar Star. Who is Martin Cruz Smith? Correct. Okay, player three. Monosyllables for 400. It's the contraction for am not, and it is in the dictionary. What is ain't? That's it. Monosyllables for 800. Player one, what'll it be now? Under calmer circumstances, this interjection is a word for the male human being. What is man? Hey, you're correct. This expression of gratitude also refers to one's grateful feelings. What is thanks? Precisely. Pick again. This slang noun for a painful injury comes from what you shout when you get hurt. What is ouch? Very good. You pick again. An expression of disdain or a bear of very little brain. What is poop? Yes, yes, indeed. Treasure and Raise the Titanic by this author features salvage expert Dirk Pitt. Who is Clive Cussler? Yes. All right, player three, what'll it be? Let's try 20-something for 400. Usually, you begin this game by asking animal, vegetable, or mineral. What is 20 questions? Right. Uh, 20 something for 800. Player one. At arrival or departure, this salute is fired for a U.S. president or a visiting head of state. What's a 21 gun salute? Precisely. Pick again. It's the numerical designation for normal visual acuity. What is 2020? That's correct. Hey, you're still up, player one. To the closest mile, it's the length of an Olympic marathon. What's 26 miles? Definitely. Answer, the Daily Double.
Thirty-eight-six, please. Player one, one please, please make, make your wager, wager now. now. Okay, here's the clue. As Captain Kirk could tell you, the original Star Trek TV series was set in this century. What is the 23rd century? Yes! Uh, official characters to doubt. This Dickens character had great expectations until she was jilted on her wedding day. Who is Miss Havisham? Yes. It's your turn, player three. Street smarts for 400. It's the stately street where the U.S. president lives. What is Pennsylvania Avenue? That's it exactly. Player one, it's your turn. In this European city, the locals call the Boulevard Saint-Michel the Boule Miche for short. What is Paris? Right, pick again. This Manhattan Avenue has long been synonymous with the advertising industry. What is Fifth Avenue? Um, I don't know. No, sorry. What is Madison Avenue? Oh, that's right. Very good. Player three, your turn. History for 400. In 1725, Peter the Great commissioned this straight Dane to explore the Pacific coast of Siberia. Who is Barry? Right you are. Player one, your turn. Spreading Greek culture far and wide, this great leader inaugurated the Hellenistic Age in the fourth century BC. Was Alexander the Great? You bet. you bet. Two union leaders were convicted in the 1910 bombing of this major Los Angeles daily newspaper. What is the Los Angeles Times? Right, pick again. When Whammo introduced this toy in 1957, it was called the Pluto Platter. What is it, Frisbee? Correct. Correct. Pick again. Pick again. This, this man, president, president during two Black Friday financial panics, is on the U.S. $50 bill. Uh, who is Ulysses Grant? Correct. Correct. The Garden State Parkway passes by Paramus and Passaic in this state. What is New Jersey? Exactly. And the last clue is mine because it is and the other day. Finishing off this round. Answer the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. 15,200. Here's the clue. In 1775, Daniel Boone blazed this road through the Cumberland Gap. Right, 
What is the wilderness road? Hey, you're correct. One hundred thousand dollars. That's the, the end, end of the, of the double, double Jeopardy, Jeopardy round. round. Let's, Let's check, check out, out the scores, score, shall we? We shall. Exceptional player one. Crunch time, folks. Final Jeopardy. I show you the category, then I give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Western U.S. cities. Go ahead, make your wager. Here's the clue. Good luck. The first 24 hours, 7 11. 1963 in this 24-hour city. Let's see if you got the right question. Your question, player two, was... Player two, Player two, I, I see that you like to live dangerously. dangerously. But you're, you're right. right. Way, Way to go. go. Your, Your question, question, Player three, three was... was. Ooh. Let's see what that will cost you. So I know I'm the winner with $111,111. I'll see you all for the next game. Your, Your question, question, Player, player one, one, was... was. Right, right you are. are. And how much, how much did you wager? Did you wager? That, was that was certainly an exciting, exciting game. game. Let's, Let's hear, hear it for our winner. winner. Player, Player one. one. See you again for another game of Jeopardy. Goodbye. Goodbye.